When is the right time to sell a stock? Today I'm going to share with you guys how I know it is the right time to sell a stock and the decision making process I go through to make that decision. I can't wait to share this with you guys today. Hello subscribers, thank you so much for joining me today on the Financial Education Channel. So today I'm talking about a very important subject for all you people out there who buy stocks and you watch my channel for stock related videos. Today we're talking about when is the right time to sell a stock. And the way I do it is before I even buy a stock, before I even buy a stock, I decide what price would I be willing to sell those shares for? I make a price in my mind and that's the price I stick to under most scenarios on when the time is right to sell that stock. So in my head, when I go to buy a stock, I'll have a scenario, if that stock goes up in 20% in a month, do I sell it? Sometimes it's, the answer is yes, sometimes it's no. Um, the question is, if the fundamentals change with the company and they go more negative than I thought they were. And that hopefully is never the scenario because all my due diligence before that I actually buy that stock, that should lead me to a right decision on the fundamentals of the company. And I doubt those fundamentals would change in a very short period of time. That would mean I made a very bad business decision in buying that stock in the first place. And hopefully that never happens. It generally doesn't. But if I did make that mistake, then I will also have a price in my head on what to sell that stock at. So that is the key. You need to, before you even buy that stock, you need to have in your mind, I'll sell the stock at X amount of price or X amount of price. And it's different for every stock. If you think a stock has extreme amount of long-term potential, then it doesn't matter how much that stock goes up in the short term because you're not going to be interested in selling it. Because if you think that stock has a ton of long-term potential, you're, you're going to be holding out for hundreds of percents of gains, if not a thousand percent gain. Because you don't, you know, a 30% gain or a 20% gain in a couple months, that's nothing if you think that stock has a lot more, you know, runway ahead of it. And other stocks you're going to buy sometimes, you're only hoping for maybe 20% in a year or two. And if it runs up really quick and in your mind, you know, you already made that decision, then you sell it. And it takes a huge burden off of you when it does come time to sell. Instead of trying to figure all this out in the game, you know, the stock goes up or down or, or, you know, the fundamentals change and you're trying to figure it out then. No, you've already made those decisions in your head before you even bought that stock. And it takes a lot of stress off you, off of making those decisions and whatnot. So I hope this helped, guys, on when to sell a stock. There's no mathematical formula magic you know formula I'm gonna give you today because there's no such thing it's all about what you feel the company is worth how undervalued it is and the long-term potential in it or the short-term potential if you're more of a short-term trader so thanks subscribers as always please feel free to share this with family or friends um, if they're interested in these kind of subjects if not and you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, you may want to. I talk a ton about the stock market and stocks. I talk a massive amount about personal finance and personal finance tips. And I talk a little bit about business here and there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.